Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'll be showing you a very unique tasbih. This iridescent tasbih is one of many in my tasbih collection. Let me show you this unique tasbih up close. So this is a tasbih or a misbaha, prayer beads upon a string. The beads are used to keep track of the number of recitations that make up the dhikr. When the dhikr involves the repetition of particular phrases a specific number of times, the beads are used to keep track so the person performing the dhikr can turn all of their focus on what is actually being said, as it becomes difficult to concentrate simultaneously on the number and phrasing when one is doing so a substantial number of times. So the prayer is considered a form of dhikr that involves some repetitive utterances of short sentences in the praise and glorification of Allah in Islam. The prayer is recited as follows. We have to say 33 times, subhanallah, which means glorified is Allah. This is known as tasbih. 33 times we have to say alhamdulillah, which means all praise is due to Allah. This saying is known as tahmid. We have to say 33 times or 34 times Allah Akbar, which means Allah is great. This saying is known as takbir. A tasbih may vary in style or decorative embellishments ranging from cheap mass-produced prayer beads, which I think this one is, to those made with expensive materials and high-quality workmanship. Tasbih beads are most often made of spherical glass, wood, plastic, amber, or gemstone. The cord is usually cotton or silk. Islamic prayer beads has three main parts, which are the beads, discs, and imam. There are many variations to create prayer beads, but these parts are must-have to create the tasbih. The beads are the main parts of the tasbih. There are many variations for this part as material type, shape, dimension, and colors. Spherical shape of beads is a standard traditional style. Symmetrical spheres near perfectly aligned on a string are gorgeous to look at. The iridescent tasbih I have has a total of 33 beads. These are plastic showing luminous colors that seem to change when seen from different angles. Next are the dividers in the beads. These are known as the discs. These are the pieces that split the beads into the familiar 11, 11, 11 sections of the smaller tasbis. It's also very important that the design of this piece complements the bead shape. These are not counted in the number of beads. This part helps you keep track of your thicker very easily. There is often a larger leader bead and it's one of the most important part of the tasbi. It's known as the imam. It shows you the starting point of the tasbi. The imam is a long bead at the top of the set. It is the most elaborate piece of the set which makes it beautiful and meaningful. This part is followed by a tassel which is customizable, in this case silver tone metal tassel ending in heart charms. All of this is held together with durable string. The holes are very carefully drilled into each piece. This is a very critical part of the process for the following reasons. The hole must be centered as perfectly as possible. If this is not done correctly, the beads will not align off the string and the appearance of the set will be tremendously affected. The hole must be the precise diameter. This is a big deal. If the hole is too narrow, the super durable string won't fit properly. And if it's too loose, then the set may not even be functional, especially with the imam, counter and accessories. With some materials, the holes must be made very carefully as not to crack or damage it. Shopping for a tasbih from local market in a Muslim country is very easy. Alhamdulillah, these tasbih misbaha shops are in abundance and they use a variety of materials such as gold, silver, ivory, mother of pearl, amber, ebony, camel bones and various other materials at different price points. This small scale tasbih makes it very easy to hold and also allows you to take this tasbih with you wherever you go without tangling or getting damaged. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Just a thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here.
check it out